I have been suffering from chronic pain since I was 10 years old. My family says even earlier than that, but from what I can remember, it started when I got my first period. So much pain I can't walk sometimes, and because I can't walk, I start freaking out, and then I start crying because the pain is so unbearable. And I, and the way I explain it is the pain is worse than labor. It's like a sharp knife pain. Someone is sticking a knife in you, turning it, and then releasing it a little bit, and then hitting you again. Doctors told me I was crazy. They told my dad that I, I was an attention seeker and I was addicted to painkillers. And my dad's like, no, she's not lying. Like, there's no way you can lie. Like, this pain that she has, it's, it's intense. The gynecologist um, said, the only way to find this illness is through laparoscopic surgery. I have to go in and um, it's an in and out um, surgery. You're only there for like an hour or two. And that's the only way we can find this illness. And I'm just like, at this point I am 23 years old. And I'm just like, what do you mean? Surgery at 23, like, what is this? And my primary doctor before the surgery said, you can't have that illness, you're too young. And you've already had a baby. Wrong. You can have endometriosis since, like by the time you get your first period, you have endometriosis. Like it's not something that just, oh my God, my doctor. Anyways, I didn't listen to him and I did the surgery anyways and I am diagnosed with endometriosis. I don't know what stage. It is. Many women say, oh, I have stage five or stage this, and I never asked, but they found a chocolate cyst on my left side. That was about this big. And um, they removed a bunch of scar tissue. What is endometriosis? Endometriosis is uh, the lining of your uterus, right? Of your endometrium. Somehow leaks out of there. And imagine a paintbrush, and if I splash that paintbrush, and there's blood all over my wall. And it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be contained to this. So when you get your period, your endometrium kind of swells up. So do those clots of blood everywhere else on my wall. So it swells up, all these pain things swell up, and then it bleeds like a normal period, and everything on my wall starts bleeding. But what? Like, how does that happen? It's literally internal bleeding, and it causes so much pain, at least for me. There are some cases with women with really severe like endometriosis and have no symptoms at all until they're unable to conceive. I'm so thankful I had my daughter at 15 because for the doctors to say you may never have kids again, it's really hard. I think her words exactly was like, your left side is completely destroyed, but your right side looks good. And I'm just like, what? But she's like, it can cause infertility. So as soon as you're ready to have a baby, let me know. And that's another thing. As soon as you're diagnosed, have another baby, have another baby, have another. They pressure you so hard because your hormones are so high, right? Which is why you bleed out. You have a lot more estrogen than, than women should. So when you're pregnant, it lessens your estrogen levels, which freezes endometriosis, completely freezes it. So it's like your solution for me is to continue getting pregnant? Who's gonna take care of these babies? How am I supposed to afford them? And nine months is only temporary. There's no cure? Endometriosis is basically a cancer that can't kill you. And some, it can leak anywhere. It can leak on your fallopian tubes, on your ovaries on your intestines, you know, there are some cases where the endometriosis like cells were found like in people's lungs. It takes away your womanhood. What do you mean I can't have another baby? That's not up to you. And let's talk about the pain. Endometriosis can't kill you. But the pain that you get while you're having a flare up can make you think of doing something wrong. So you won't feel the pain anymore. 
through every flare up, I'm just like, how am I getting through this? How am I getting by? This is why I didn't wear makeup, because I knew it was gonna happen. Everything hurts. When I have a flare up, even a touch it irritates me. In a car, a bump completely, like, it's like ringing in my ear. The pain is so bad, sometimes you can't breathe. And what's worse, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna get my period. So right when I get my period, I'm into pain. No, I've been in pain for the last two days. I'm not even on my period yet. It happens randomly. More women need to talk about their life with endometriosis. More people need to hear about endometriosis because a lot of women suffer from it. It's one out of every 10 women suffer from endometriosis. One out of every 10 women, okay? 170 million women suffer from it. But growing up and you, a girl gets their period, it's supposed to hurt. Stop being weak. It's supposed to hurt. Why are you crying? Why do you want attention? I have been isolated for a very long time. I've talked about it openly, but I've never gotten within groups or other women that suffer from my same illness. And I think it's time to hear their stories. And I think it's time to come together. And I think it's time to find a cure. And I'm helping with this video to give women hope because you're not alone. You're not alone. I'm sorry I'm crying. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna make this into a series, so stay tuned for the next um, episode. I'm just gonna have people ask their questions and then I promise you I will ask them in the next video. Just go ahead and drop your questions down below. Uh, let me know what you thought. Thank you guys. I love you. Bye.